we parked up in Bowen on the southern shore at the mouth. Then we got on a plane and went up 1500 k's up past Manaus to a place called Tepe. And the reason we went there was because that was Indian population and the Indian population in that area had been under threat of being extinguished, you know, by all the people coming in. So there we caught a sort of riverboat and headed up to an Indian village lodge. So you had the not crocodiles that like caiman. Lots and lots of caiman that were congregated under a cabin, which was a floating cabin most nights it seemed. It's pretty scary actually that stuff. But the um, vegetarians. Well, I wasn't going to test the, the theory. Well, it was actually in what's called the flooded forest. Except we were there during the dry season and actually the Amazon was having a drought. The streams through the forest had actually contracted so much that all the wildlife was incredibly concentrated. Another thing that's there are the pink dolphin. So here we are, 1200 k's from the Atlantic, and you've got these pink dolphin in the, in the river. And actually the research people were there pulling them out and taking samples and measuring their le weight and all this sort of stuff. So we got mm. to really get close up. But they reckon mm. that they actually um, evolve, not from Atlantic dolphin, but from Pacific dolphin. And they got caught by the upthrust of the Andes when the, you know, when the Andes came up, and so they were trapped and land and that's how they that's an amazing story. It's such a mystical sort of destination that you've known about your whole life and actually going there and you know seeing the reality as opposed to the sort of um, what was in your mind's eye. Well, that was a great experience. Um, so we flew back out after whatever it was, a few, few days up in that lodge with the Indians and that, that was really cool. 